टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट इन द सीरीज ऑफ द रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ लाइट ओके यस सर द चैप्टर व्हिच इज गोइंग ऑन राइट नाउ सो इन दिस सीरीज टुडे आई विल टीच यू द स्नेल्स लॉ व्हिच इज लॉ स्नेल्स लॉ आई विल टीच यू द स्नेल्स लॉ ओके यस सर नाउ व्हाट इज दिस लॉ ओके या बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस लेट मी गिव अ ब्रीफ अबाउट द रिफ्रैक्शन and the reflection of light how does it take place okay we yes. are already already knowing it <coughs> Re refraction means what so bending means, of yes bending of light, light. light simply in the simple way you can say light bending of, of light. light but when when the light travels from one medium to another, another medium. medium okay yeah so when the light travels from one medium to another medium it bends it bends, bends. Sometimes it bends towards the normal, normal, or sometimes it bends away from the normal. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is refraction of light. light. This is refraction of light. light. Many examples also we have done there. Yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Like when we dip a pencil in water. Okay. We uh, you you dip a pencil inside the water. So you after some time you observe the pencil just bends there. Yes. Okay. This is again due to the reflection of light. light. I already explained it. Yes. Okay. Now today in this series, I will tell you about the Snell's law. law. Okay. So for the reflection of light, this is the law for the reflection of light. light. So how does the reflection of light takes place? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. This is Snell's law. Okay. Now let me explain it. What is this Snell's law? Now let's see. I have two mediums here. One is rarer medium and one is denser medium. You must be knowing this. Okay. This is the rarer. Medium. This is the rarer. Rare. Now you are knowing. Let's say this is the ray of light which is incidenting here. This is known as the point of incidence. Yes. This is the incident ray. Yes, okay? sir. Is in incidenting here. Now in this point, we draw normal. Normal is the sir, perpendicular line. at the point of incidence yes. so here you are doing normal like this this is normal okay yes sir. now we are knowing when the ray of light travels from rarer to denser, denser. denser. it bends towards the normal it bends towards, towards the normal. normal it bends towards the normal, normal. so origin the original path of light ray of light is this this is the original path yes sir yes. but after the refraction it will bend towards the normal Now why this is bending? You are already knowing it. Yes, sir. I have already told it to you. Yes, sir. Because the speed of light in the rarer medium is, is different, faster, and in the denser medium, lower. lower. It gets lower. Getting now? Yes. yes, sir. So this is due to the reflection of light. light. And this one angle is known as angle, angle of incidence. Yes. And this angle, one of angle is known as angle refraction. of refraction. Yes, refraction. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now let me just change this angle of incidence now. Okay. Yeah. I am just making it. I am enlarging this angle of incidence. Right? Okay. Yes. Let's again. This is again the rarer medium. This is again the denser medium. Okay. Yeah. Let me draw it properly. Okay. Yes, sir. This is let's say this is the ray of incidence. Now it is incidenting this like this way. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sir. In this point, I am drawing a normal in this point. Getting up. Yeah. Yes, so sir. the original path of this. Light is this? Yeah. Is the ray of light original path? Yes, sir. Again, it is going from rarer to denser medium. Again, it will bends towards the normal. normal. Okay. Yeah. So this this will be the bend. Okay. Yes. Now I have enlarged this angle of incidence. Yes, sir. So in the same way, the angle of refraction also has been enlarged. Okay. Yeah. Let's say this one angle is I one. So angle of refraction R one. Let's say this is I two. So this will be R two. Okay. Yes. So Snell. Put forward a law, and this law says that if the medium is not changed, if the medium is not changed, changed. so we are not changing the medium. Okay? Yes, sir. Let's say if the ray of light is traveling from air to water or air to glass, we are not changing the medium. Medium will remain the same. Okay? Medium, medium will remain the same if medium is not changed. Okay? Okay? Yeah. Then. Sine of the angle of incidence and the sine of the angle of refraction, their ratio will always be constant. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's say in this case 
the angle of incidence is I1. Yeah. And in this case, the angle of reflection is R1. Yeah. So they are sign. So the ratio between the sign of angle of incidence and the sign of angle of reflection will always be constant. constant. Means whatever this ratio coming, same will be this one also. Where your angle of reflection and angle of incidence are different. Yeah. Here it is I2 yeah. and here it is R2. R2. So whatever the ratio is this, same will be the ratio. So this always will be constant. Okay. Yes sir. You keep on changing the angle of incidence. So angle of reflection will also be changing. Okay. But their ratio will always be same. Let's say in this case it is coming 1 by 2. So here also it will come 1 by 2. Here also it will come 1 by 2. Okay. Getting now? Yes. Means the uh, ratio between the sign of angle of incidence and the sign of angle of reflection will always be constant. Will always be constant. constant. So let me explain it again the Snell's law. Snell's law says that Snell's law says Say that, that the ratio between sign of angle of incidence and sign of angle of reflection, reflection is always constant. constant. This condition is what? If it medium is, is not changed. changed. If medium is not changed. changed. Okay? Yes, sir. Now, there will be the further derivation of the Snell's law. Okay? In which uh, sign, uh, sign of angle of incidence, sign of angle of incidence will be equals to the refractive index there. Okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, it uh, will be the further derivation of the Snell's law. But right now, we have to know this, that sign of angle of incidence and sign of angle of reflection will be a ratio will always be equal constant. will always be constant if medium is not changed is it clear yes so this is all about the snell's law thank you